how are you doing? Hope you're having a damn good day. Welcome back to the channel and we will be breaking down Bayern Munich's set of tactics that they have looked to implement so far in the 23-24 season. Of course, we're looking to try and do this in the game FC24. So, if you can, hit that like button for more content like this. Subscribe if you are new. We will be producing a lot more than just the Bayern Munich's, the Manchester United's of this world. And we will be looking to move forward. So, we'll start off with the likes of Harry Kane up front. Some new signing, of course. We've got Musiala just in behind. Komen and Wanda Sane on the right wing. We've got Retzka and Kimmich in the midfield as the double pivots. We've got Kim and Jay, a nice brand new signing for them, as well as Kupa Mikado. We've got Mazrawi and Davies as the fullbacks. And then between the sticks, if it allows me to get there, between the sticks we've got Utrecht because the likes of Manuel Neuer is out injured. So on the subs departments in the in the bench, you know, that, that good area, we've got Tal, who apparently is supposed to be the next best thing. Like he is he's a French international, supposedly I think. He's 18 years of age, he's going to be a fantastic player. I mean, I saw him come on and absolutely wreck Manchester United in the Champions League. Uh, we've got Navri, Muller, Lima, Peretz, De Ligt, and then Guerrero on the bench. And then in the reserves, we've got the likes of Manuel Neuer, promoting Saar, and then a few other players I don't care to mention. So moving forward with the formation, it's just a basic 4-2-3-1. I haven't changed any positions, taken anybody, and moved them forward or anything like that. So it's one goalkeeper, two centre-backs, two full-backs, two DMs, one attacking midfielder, two wide midfielders, and then one striker. So for the tactical vision, I decided that what Bayern like to do is they like to work the ball with the wing players. So I've done, I've gone with a wing play option for their tactical vision. I think it best replicates them in what they try and do on a day-to-day -day basis. So as for the defensive style of things, I've gone with the pressure on heavy touch. So they look to try and wait and wait for the opposition to try and make a mistake. And then they'll try and capitalize on that with an elite press, either Musiala or Harry Kane leading that front line. They do have very quick flanks whether it's your fullbacks or your wingers, so that they can try and press those wider areas of the pitch very effectively. And in terms of the pressing from those wide areas, you want to try and have a widespread team, making sure that there are no crosses being delivered into the box, um, or at a very rare and less frequent rate, you could say by your fullbacks or the wingers stopping those crosses being delivered in. And it does allow for a bit more space to be opened up in the center of the park, but you do have very good adequate defenders as well as center defensive midfielders that can try and cut out those opportunities. As for the depth, it is 6 to 75. It's on the lowest side of high lines, but it's a very practical version of what a high line can be. It helps you in possession, of course, trying to maintain the ball as much as possible, but it also allows you to not be counter-attacked as effectively as what it can be in, in the game FC24. As for the offensive play, it's set to balance. You can have those nice long balls being hit into the front line, or potentially you can look to try and speed things up down the flanks, either with a Sane or a Komen or a Nabry, for example pacing it down the, the right to the left flank and then whipping those balls into Harry Kane or potentially you can look to try and slow things down because they do like to try and dominate possession more times than Thomas Tuchel, he likes to be very pragmatic with the with the defensive side of things but as well as the offensive um, style of his football he likes to maintain the ball and try and wait patiently for those opportunities to arrive in the box or potentially just outside the area for the final attack now as for the width it is 6 to 70 it's slightly less wide in terms of what they look to do on the defensive side of things but you will look to have that, that ball being played down the, the wider flanks or the, the wider areas of the field and trying to get those crosses into the front line, trying to supply a lot of the playmaking abilities from those wider regions. The players in the box though, it is set to seven, so it's more or less going to be your three attacking players in the box with an added either a midfielder or potentially a fullback, making that deeper run into the attacking third. And then as for corners and for kicks, as for always, it is set to four. So with the instructions going forward, we'll start off with the goalkeeper, Utrecht. He's to having a balanced approach for his saving on crosses. Not the best early, but he's not the worst either, which is why a balanced approach does make the most sense. Sometimes looking to punch the ball and try and, you know, immediately alleviate the stress. Other times looking to try and catch it. So he's a very mixed bag of results when it comes to that. But as for his saving from outside of the box, I think with Bayern Munich's hard line, Thomas Tuchel demands that his goalkeepers try and make those runs of, of the Lions trying to regain possession of the ball and then circulate it back into play. Of course, with the likes of Manuel Neuer eventually coming back, this will be set to sweep the keeper as well as being able to come for crosses. He's very good with claiming those aerial balls. But I think for Utrecht to try and replicate a realistic approach for him, it's best to probably have it on balance and then being a sweeper keeper. Now, as for your two centre backs, nothing of, of real note will change to them. It's the basic set of instructions. But now we'll move out to our full backs. Mazrawi, he's set to join the attack and overlap as well as stick to position. Whereas the likes of Davies are set to attack or join the attack more times than not making those attacking runs, sometimes inverting a bit more, other times looking to make those 
um, outer or overlapping runs, and then as well as step up. You want him to play slightly higher up the field than what your right back would do, and that just gets the best out of Davies on the attacking side of things. Then moving into our midfield, we've got the likes of Joshua Kimmich, potential future Bayern Munich captain. I think he is the captain of Germany, I might be mistaken, but anyways, it's neither here nor there. He's here to cut pass games, stay back while attacking, aggressive interceptions, are set to be on for him, as well as be the deep line playmaker, and then man the center of the, the midfield in between the, the two center backs, sometimes looking to try and shield the ball, but also try and collect it and then spray passes out wide. Sometimes he can play as a right back, we haven't really seen him in that right back role under the likes of Thomas Tuchel, but I think maybe for Germany going forward, that there was mentions um, that he might be able to play there. I know that they have changed managers and now the likes of Nagelsmann is in, so I, it's, it's probably put a dampener on the potential Kimmich right back position. But nonetheless, him as a DM in this team, I think this is what he looks to try and do in the game on a day to day basis. Then his counterpart in the midfield, we've got Goretzka, also sent to cut past things, making it very hard for the opposition to try and exploit the spaces in between the lines. You want your two midfielders being very active, almost creating a, a layer, a barrier, if you, you, if you would, um, to try and you know, intercept those passes and make sure it's not easy to pass through the lines and get those little half spaces going. Um, as for his attacking support, it is set to a balance attack, sometimes playing a bit higher up the field, other times looking to just try and support Kimmich and as well as the defense at times, or almost playing as the box to box player. Aggressive interceptions are said to be on form. Like I say, you want them being as active as possible, trying to intercept and break up as much play. And then we've got him set to six position and then come the wing. Slightly out wide, speaking of the wing, we've got the likes of Sane, very good, very quick, very pacey. Set to come back on defense, cut inside and get, uh, get in behind, trying to exploit the hard line at times. Very good at cutting inside and creating scoring opportunities, either for himself or for others. The acute passes, the creating space down the flank for the likes of his oncoming um, right back or running on right back at times. He's very good at just trying to supply the ball into those wider areas as well, especially when he does cut inside. And then he's into normal interceptions and then having a balanced approach for his crossing run. Sometimes making those deeper runs into the box, other times looking to try to facilitate in the wider areas on the sides. Now we've got the left wing. This can either be a, a Nabry or a Komen. I've gone with Komen because I think he's just a better fit for this team going forward. But he's here to come back on defense as well, looking to always support the fullback, especially on the left hand side of Davies. You need to have him um, covered at times because he is he's not the best defensive player as things stand. In terms of his chance creation, though, it is here to stay wide. You want him hugging that touch line, creating those one v one situations, and then trying to beat the man and either cut inside manually forcing him inside or potentially cutting it on, on, on the left hand side and creating a, a crossing opportunity for your forwards. Getting in behind though is essential, you do have very fast pacing players, I will say that. And then in terms of his interceptions, it's set to normal as well as the support on crosses get into the box. You want the left hand side making those arcing runs into the back post area. Then into our attacking midfielder position, we've got Musiala. He is set to have a secondary striker type role. He is set to a cam of course, but he will look to make those advancing runs past the likes of Harry Kane. And in order to do that, you'll have him set to basic defensive support. So sometimes looking to drop deeper, other times looking just to stay a bit higher up the field, especially when the likes of Goretz gets on the ball and runs with it, advancing it higher up the field. As well as you want him to try and get into the box for those crosses, trying to latch onto a, a, a stray cross or a potential cross straight to him. You want him to try and be in and around there. And speaking of being in and around there, you want him popping up in those little pockets of space in and around the likes of Harry Kane, operating in those half spaces and more times than not exploiting those half space opportunities. In terms of his interceptions, I've said it's too aggressive. You want that pressing line being nice, hot, and very aggressive towards the opposition at times. And then finally, we've got Harry Kane. He's said to stay central and be a target man. This system works well with the likes of supplying Harry Kane with the balls in, and he'll try and find other passes, trying to link up play with Musiala or potentially the wingers at times, trying to spray the ball out wide or potentially have a little around the corner flick on to your uh, attacking midfielder. Normal interceptions though are set to go. He's never been one to aggressively press or close down passing angles or whatnot. In terms of his defensive support though, I've gone with the basic um, defensive support. We haven't really seen him do what he did at Tottenham where he drops very deep, gets on the ball and then sprays passes forward. He can do that. And that's why I've gone with him to have a basic defensive support. So sometimes dropping off the back line, other times looking to stay higher up the field and then try and make up play higher up. So if you do rotate the team and you find the likes of Lima slotting in at right back, he has been playing there more times than not, or even the likes of Chipamoting playing as the attacking midfielder slash secondary striker, and even 
if you rotate your wingers and Nabry comes in, there are different structures to try and get the best out of him in those particular positions. So we'll start off with Lima. He seems to have a balanced attack as well as his run type six being a bit more mixed. So sometimes linking up with the midfield, inverting a bit more, other times looking just to hug the, the wide flank on the right hand side and create space down the, the right flank. As well as you want him to be a bit more aggressive towards his opposition, stepping up a bit higher, being very imposing on the opposition more times than not. And then we'll move on to triple moting. He's here to stay forward, get into the box forward crosses. He is very tall, very physical, very good in the air as well. Stick to position, so it is essential for him. You don't really want him floating in and around. The number 10 position slash a secondary striker position is his to get the best of. And then aggressive with Sif. He's also going to try and lead that press. Very similar to what Musiola does, but slightly different as well. You don't want him dropping too far deep. Sometimes this would look like a 4-4-2 formation in certain moments. And then Finally, you've got the likes of Navri. He said to come back on defense, stay wide, and then for support runs, this is the main difference. You don't just want him getting in behind trying to exploit the back line because he doesn't really have a lot of pace to try and, you know, work with. So, staying wide is essential, creating width down the left-hand side, opening up space for Davies, who will be making those inverting runs at times. But sometimes he will look to come inside the ball, link up play with the midfield, trying to create overloads in certain areas. And I think he does that job very, very effectively. In terms of his um, interceptions, as well as support and crosses, identical you want your left winger getting into the attacking third latching onto potential strays or crosses and then finding them into the back of the net so yes my people that is my version of thomas tuchel's 4231 in the game fc24 if you have enjoyed this smash that like button subscribe if you are new might i say i've got something very special planned for thursday so stay tuned for that hit the bell notifications and of course as always i hope you have a damn great day i'm out